Hi guys, I'm Michelle from Virtual Hand Care, and in this video, we are gonna do a follow along hand and finger exercise routine for mobility and strength. We are gonna do these exercises on both hands, but we're gonna do them separately. We will be doing 10 repetitions of some of the exercises, and for others, I will be setting a one minute timer. You will need a firm ball, such as a yoga therapy ball, a tennis ball, a lacrosse ball, will work just fine. These exercises are great for anybody that is dealing with finger or hand stiffness, maybe because of arthritis or maybe even a wrist injury, and you're struggling to get your finger mobility and strength back. So go ahead and try these out and let me know in the comments below what you think of this routine. With any of these exercises, you can place your hands down on a table, on a pillow, you can prop your hands up, you can position your hands in whatever way is comfortable for you. All right, let's get started. Okay, exercise number one is a progressive finger flexion exercise. So to do this exercise, prop your right arm up, fingers are completely straight, take your left hand, and you're gonna go ahead and actually bend your left hand where you're just bending at the knuckles. And you're gonna place your left hand on your right palm, small finger side. Not too high, you wanna go kinda of low to where you can see the creases of your right palm. And then to progress this exercise, you're gonna curl your fingers and touch the index finger of your left hand. Go ahead and go to the middle finger. And then you're gonna go ahead and go to the ring finger. And then you're going to try to touch the small finger. Notice when you touch the small finger, you have to curl those fingers quite a bit. Now, if you can't get to all of the fingers because you have too much stiffness, just start with whatever is comfortable for you. You can use this as a way to kind of track and measure your progress as well. All right, so let's go ahead and do 10 repetitions of these. So fingers are completely straight and you're gonna go ahead and curl and touch the index and then the middle, and then the ring, and the small, and back up. That's one, index, middle, ring, small, and straight, two, index, middle, ring, small, three, index, middle, ring, small, four, index, middle, ring, small, and straight, that's five, index, middle, ring, small, six, index, middle, ring, small, seven, index, middle, ring, small, eight, two more, ready? Index, middle, ring, small, nine, one more, index, middle, ring, and small, and back straight, and that's 10. Good job, okay, now we're gonna do that same exercise, but we're gonna do it on our left hand. So, fingers are completely straight, Right hand is going to do the knuckle benders now. And then you're gonna go ahead and turn that hand and the small finger of your right hand is gonna to touch the palm of your left hand. But you're gonna move down enough, like I said, just so that you have some space to bend, right? You don't wanna to be too high and block your motion. All right, we're gonna do 10 of these. Ready? Index, middle, try to get all the fingers to touch ring and small and straight. That's one, index, middle, ring and small, two, index, middle, ring and small, three, index, middle, ring and small, four, index, middle, ring, small, five, again, just do what you can, middle, ring, small, six, index, middle, ring, small, seven, index, middle, ring, small, eight, Two more, index, middle, 
ring small nine and one more index middle ring small and open and that's 10 good job okay now we're going to go ahead and go back to the right hand and we are going to do a reverse of that so same position you're going to go ahead and get the right fingers completely straight nice open palm and left hand is going to go back into those knuckle benders same position but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that in reverse. So you're gonna go ahead and curl down and try to touch the small, then go to the ring, then the middle, then the index, and you're gonna go up and straight that way. So that's one. Small, ring, middle, index, and kind of scoop up straight and open. Two, small, ring, middle, index and open three small ring middle index and scoop open four small ring middle index five small ring middle index six small ring middle index seven, middle index, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's go ahead and do that exercise on our left side. So again, left hand, fingers straight, nice open palm, right hand, knuckles are bent, and we're going to place that small finger on the left palm. But this time, remember, we're gonna go into that hook and we're gonna try to touch that small finger, then go to the ring, then the middle, then the index, and then we're gonna go ahead and scoop up and straight and spread open. That's one. Small, ring, middle, index, scoop up and straight. Two, small ring, middle, index, and open, three, small, ring, middle, index, four, small, ring, middle, index, five, small, ring, middle, index, six, small ring middle index seven small ring middle index eight small ring middle index nine one more small ring middle index and open and 10. Good job. All right, now we're gonna progress to our next exercise. For this third one, this is a thumb tip to tip exercise, but we're going to also stay and touch the little joints of the small finger and slowly progress down to the base of our finger. So that's a thumb tip to tip exercise with a little bit of a twist. All right, so we're gonna start on our right hand. You're gonna go ahead and touch index to thumb, trying to make an O, and then you're gonna open up and then go to the middle finger, open up, ring finger, open, and small finger. Stay there at the small finger. Then you're gonna go down to the next little joint of your small finger, then the next little joint, then down to the base of the small finger as far as you can go. And open, and that's one index open middle ring small go to the next joint then the next joint then the next joint out down as far as you can go and open that's two index open middle ring small next joint next joint next joint down and slide as far as you can and open index open middle ring 
small next joint next joint next joint down and slide as far as you can and open four index open middle ring small next joint down next joint down keep going with that thumb next joint all the way down to the base and open that's five index to thumb open middle ring small then go down to the next joint to the next joint all the way down that thumb as far as you can go and open six index open middle open ring open small next joint down next joint down keep going as far as you can and open seven index middle ring small then the little joint keep going down that finger all the way down as far as you can and open eight we got two more to go here index open middle open ring small little joint middle joint next joint down and go down as far as you can and open we're going to do one more ready index open middle open ring open and small then go to your next joint that's your dip then your pip and then your mp and pass that mp all the way down into the base as far as you can and open that's 10. good job let's go ahead and do that on our left hand ready so index to thumb open middle ring small then to go down to the next joint to the next joint and that next joint as far down as you can and open that's one index open middle ring small dip pip mp joint and passed as far down as far down as you can and open that's two index open making a nice o to each finger ring finger small finger then next joint next joint down as far as you can and open that's three index open middle open ring open small next joint down next joint down next joint down as far as you can and open ready index open middle open ring open small dip joint pip joint mp joint and pass that mp if you can with a thumb and open that's five all right let's keep going index to thumb open middle open ring open small then next joint then next joint then next joint down and as far as you can and open that's six all right keep going index open middle open ring open small then the next joint the next joint and go all the way down as far as you can and open that's seven just a few more here index open middle open ring open small next joint down next joint down as far down as you can go and open that's eight two more index middle ring small keep going down that small finger as far as you can with the thumb open nine one more index middle open making nice o with the fingers and the thumb small finger then little joint dip next joint pip next joint mp and passed all the way down as far as you can go and open 
Good job, that's 10. All right, just two more exercises to go. You're gonna need a ball for these next two exercises. This exercise is a manipulation exercise. So we're going to move that ball around in our hand, working on a little speed, coordination, some finger and thumb dexterity. We're gonna go ahead and set a one minute timer and start on our right hand. All right, ready, place that ball in the hand and you're gonna go ahead and just really quickly Try to manipulate that ball around in your hand, but I also want you to move your hand, move your arm around all in different positions. You can do this down at your side. You can bring the arm and the shoulder, kind of include that if you feel like things are getting a little tight up here. Maybe you're tensing up while you were doing some of those exercises. But I wanna see you just manipulate and move that ball Get all those fingers involved, that thumb involved. Rotate that ball around just in all different types of directions. And also take your eyes away. See if you drop it. See if you feel like you're gonna go ahead and drop it. That really will challenge your eyes, your brain. Get a little bit of proprioceptive work here too and relax. All right, let's do this on our left hand. If your left hand is your non-dominant hand, you might find this to be a little challenging, but it's really important to work that non-dominant side as well. So go ahead and just manipulate that ball around, making sure all the fingers and the thumb are working together. You can just do some simple rotations or you can add a little bit of dynamic movement where you're just moving that all around. Again, moving the arm, bringing the hand down at your side, a little bit out of sight, making sure that you're not dropping that ball, but also manipulating that using fingers, shoulder, a little bit of proprioceptive work because your hand has to be able to hang on to that ball without dropping it. You're not relying on your eyes to keep that ball in your hand. It's a little bit of speed and dexterity. You can go as fast or as slow as what you need. All right, go ahead and relax. All right, we are on our final exercise. This is called an isometric ball grip. So we're going to work on a little bit of strengthening with this exercise. We are not just squeezing the ball with this exercise. You're actually gonna be holding it for a longer length of time, really working on your grip strength. All right, so place that ball in your hand and your fingers and your thumb are kind of making a nice C position. Now you can do this exercise up at like this and grip, or you can place the ball down, which I do kind of like to do it that way because the ball kind of stays nice and conformed into your palm. So you can then apply a little bit of pressure down and squeeze at the same time. All right, so go ahead and you're gonna squeeze. We're gonna hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four five and relax that's one again like i said you can do this down on a table ready squeeze one two three four five and relax that's two squeeze one two three four five and relax that's three squeeze one two three, four, five, and relax. That's four, squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. That's five, squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. Six, squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, relax. Seven, squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, relax. That's eight, squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Nine, we have one more. Squeeze, one, two, three, four, five.
five, and relax, that's 10. Good job. All right, we're gonna do this final exercise on our left hand. Again, you can prop up if you wanna squeeze, or you can place your hand down on the table, which I do prefer that one. So just make sure fingers are curled, thumb is curled in a nice C position if you can. If that kind of bothered your thumb a little bit, you can slide your thumb a little bit closer to the index finger. Sometimes that makes that a little more comfortable. All right, ready, squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. That's one. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Two. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. That's three. One, two, three, four, five. Four. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. Five, halfway there. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. That's six. Again, apply as much resistance as you want. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, squeeze, one, two, three, four, five. That's eight, we have two more. Squeeze, one, two, three, four, five. One more, and squeeze, one, two, three, four, five and relax, and that's 10. Good job. Go ahead and just lightly toss that ball back and forth, and just kind of nice and lightly rub that ball over your fingers, over your palm. Now do save this video and try these exercises daily to continue to improve your finger mobility and your hand strength. Now if you found this video helpful, do please give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And if you're looking for more exercises or if you wanna change up your finger mobility and hand strength routine, then try more of my exercises here. Until next time, thanks for watching.